Assalamu alaikum everyone. In today's video, I am going to explain you guys how to calculate OEE which is called as overall F equipment effectiveness. OEE quantifies how well a manufacturing unit performs relative to its design capacity during the period when it is scheduled to run. It is an important metric to check the productivity of a manufacturing unit commonly used by the people involved in production, design or in maintenance. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to my channel Vision Tutorials slash Khan. In brief, OEE is an absolute measure, is not an absolute measure, but it is a tool needed to identify scope for process performance improvement. It is also known as KPI that is Key Performance Indicator in conjunction with lean manufacturing efforts to provide an indicator of success. It gives the percentage of time completely dedicated only for production. For example, OEE of an industry is 100% which means industry is producing the products in one pass that is with zero rework and zero rejection which is an ideal case. Second point in least amount of time with speed loss without any speed loss which is also an ideal case third point with no stop is due to breakdown or due to any changeovers all these three points occur only in ideal case and hence no industry has the oe score of 100 percent usually in reality all the industries may usually has the oe in the range of 80 to 85 percent for better understanding, let us consider Enterprise A and Enterprise B. Enterprise A serves a high volume and low variety of market. Since the design changes are limited, the amount required for changeovers is less. Changeovers is the time required to change the process plan, arrangement of machine and the inspection tools based on the design requirement. Since less time is lost and more time is utilized for production, the OEE is more. In comparison, Enterprise B serves a low volume, high variety. Since the design changes are maximum, the amount required for changeover is more. Since more time is lost and less time is utilized for production, the OEE is less. Let us understand the terminologies to calculate OEE. The first important terminology will be the total production time. The total production time is a complete duration of time provided for production. For example, an industry running on a general ship for 8 hours. The total production time is 8 hours. Uptime is a portion of total production time available for production. Downtime is a portion of total production time lost due to equipment failure, setup or adjustment and even due to changeovers. Uptime which is also called as availability is mathematically calculated as the ratio of total production time minus downtime which is nothing but uptime divided by the total production time. The second important criteria to calculate OEE is the performance. Performance is a second important criteria to calculate OEE. It is a portion of uptime used for production by removing the time required or when the time lost when the machine is not working to its maximum capacity. It is mathematically calculated as the ratio of the idle cycle time that is the time required to manufacture one product with one pass with zero rework and zero rejection multiplied by the total number of parts produced in a given period of time divided by the operating time that is nothing but uptime thus performance is a portion of uptime which is used which is completely dedicated for production the third important criteria for to calculate OEE is quality yield Quality yield is the ratio of the good parts produced to the parts to the parts total parts produced also calculated as the total number of parts produced subtracted to the defective parts produced. 
divided by the total number of parts produced. By bringing all terminologies together, we can calculate OEE as the product of availability in multiplied by the performance multiplied by the quality yield. These are the criteria in which the OEE breaks the performance of a manufacturing unit into a three separate measurable components. Each component points to an aspect of the process that can be targeted for improvement. Additionally, OEE can also be calculated as OEE can also be calculated as a ratio of minimum time needed to produce the parts divided by the actual time needed to produce the parts. Let us solve a problem in order to understand in briefly how do we calculate OE practically. For better understanding, let us consider a problem. Consider a manufacturing unit that is uh, running on a general shift of 8 hours per day, producing 50 products with one time pass that is with zero rework and zero rejection. If either cycle time is 480 seconds, let us calculate OE. It is a simple scenario that we may come across in daily life. Since zero rework and zero rejection, thus OEE or the quality yield is 100%. The actual, cycle, actual time required to produce one product is calculated as the total time required to produce the time or total production time divided by the total parts produced. Here the total production time is 8 hours and the quality yield is 100%. Thus we take to complete 8 hours uh, in order to calculate OEE. Thus in converted into seconds we have 28,800 seconds divided by 50 parts. Thus the time required, the actual time needed to produce one part is 576 seconds. Coming to the but the the idle cycle time is 480 seconds as given in the problem. Thus, by the broad definition, we can calculate the OE as a ratio of the minimum time needed to produce one part divided by the, the actual time needed to produce the part, that is 480 seconds divided by 576 seconds, which gives the OE as the 83% which means 83% of the total production time is used actually for production and rest 17% is lost. Up next, I will be explaining you guys to calculate TEP which is Total Effective Equipment Performance which measures OEE against calendar hours that is 24 hours per day yeah, 365 days per year. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel Region Tutorials slash fun.